Hey, what's up, It's Woman here. Welcome back to another video. Today, I'm going to teach you... Since my um, my other video, my video about the Fortnite highlights has been blowing up right recently and how to make the intro, um, like how to, like that you can buy it and stuff, I thought I'd make a tutorial to do it. So I'm actually selling the way to do it. I'm just doing the effort for you if you buy it. The link for the video will, by the way, be in the description below, so you can check that out. And today, we're going to be making something for a client of mine who actually purchased it recently, and I thought it would be really cool to do that in a video. So, first thing you want to do is you actually want to download the other description in the video, and it has this template in it. It has the edited by template that has this thing in it. This is just completely a template. This is You don't have to do anything for this, because it's the same in every video. Like, right? It just pulls it. It's really simple stuff. Like, super simple. Today, we're going to be making it for Fraxies, his name is. And he wants the colors white and green. And so we're going to do that. So first things first, what you want to do is you want to find where it is edited by. Like, you see, if you see this little um, box around it, you want to find where it exactly stops. So like right here. Here you want to like, um, new text layer. And then you want to type in... Frax is, is his name? Yes, correct. Cool. And then you want to like find the exact right shape you want. So, um, that, by the way, double click here uh, with control to have this in the middle. So when it scales out, you can just see like that. Because if I were to put it like right here, and if I do this, it, it, it swings from that. And that's not what we want. So you want it in the middle. So that's just a, just a quick little tip. Um, you can hold this, you can drag these little things to make it bigger, and then if you press shift, it automatically goes, like, scaly. So it's pretty, it looks good. So I'm gonna put that right... Let's see. Oh, that's perfect. That's, that's, that's perfect. Yep, that's perfect. That's pretty. That's fine. So, next thing you wanna do, um... Is you wanna actually drag this under this. So, this one is on top, and you can rename this to... Edit by. by the way, press enter to rename stuff. It just automatically makes it better. Always remember to layer to rename your layers because else you're not gonna know what the heck everything is. And that's just that's how it is. Trust me, I've been doing this for years. It sucks. <laughs> to fight go through all these layers when you have like hundreds of layers and um, you don't know what everything is. So just name them. So what you want to do here is you want to right click and you want to go to create and you want to say create shape from text. So it's gonna create this little blue outline for it, right? And it still has a little thing in the middle, though. That's, that's good. And then what you want to do is you want to um, click this one, and then you want to click here, and then you want to type... You want to type fill. And then you want to go down here. If you see the little eye, you want to disable that. So I want to click, go down and click every single one, and then you're going to see, oh, no, it's gone. And it's supposed to be gone. And then you go up here again. And then you stroke. And then you can just click this one, and then it gets a nice little stroke. And now you can see this the stroke is actually blue and it's not supposed to be blue what you can do is you can add um see this is weird if you call it fill it doesn't actually fill it it just fills what it sees so you can just make this red one uh, white and it looks a bit better so this is the first the absolute first type and then you want to go in the same layer and you want to type in path oh type in path so here, what you want to do is you want to create that like that like glitchy effect, um, as you can see, like I did in here. You see that little like kind of crawling in effect, like like if you see it in fast motion, it's like this, like that. It's really simple to do. Only thing you want to do is you just want to stretch it. So it's basically just gets stretched in, which is pretty simple to do. So what you want to do is you just want to go wherever. It really doesn't matter. Here you want it to be like this. So here I already want to create keyframes for all of them. So how keyframes work is from one location to another, right? So you have all these keyframes, you want it to end like this. So let's actually, um, let's start with this keyframe actually. Starts with the F and that, and then you can hold Alt and scroll to like make it closer, like, like make it a little bit like that. So it's easier to see and stuff. So what you want to do is you want to, um, on your keyboard, you want to press page up and page down. And if you don't have it, you can press shift uh, control, yeah, control right arrow and control left arrow, and if you don't have those, and, oh, I'm sorry, just gonna have to move your mouse. So, um, I do page down, page down, page down, and then you see this little F here, and you wanna, like, you wanna select the F, and then you see how it has this little white thingy, when you have this white thingy, you just drag over, hold this, and then when you pull this, you wanna hold shift. So you wanna make it, like, this long. Um, is that right? No. <laughs> 
I want to select all these. So you get this F really stretched out, right? So that's the first thing you want to do. You want to make a little stretch, like somewhere around there. Then you want to go back another keyframes. So one, two, three. And then you want to select uh, these keyframes. And then you can select them invisibly when it is filled. It's selected when it's not filled. It's not selected. It kind of makes sense. So you can take this keyframe and then you can just grab this. Oh, no. Select only those. Uh, control D. <clears throat> so we want to select that one. It's being annoying. <laughs> Fee. Select, 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 select. Awesome. So you drag those in to make it like normal. And that's good. And then you want to go back another keyframe and you can really see how it goes. Boop, boop. And it like goes back to its original state. So you want to go back another three keyframes. So one, two, three. Then you want to take. Uh, you can press H, by the way, H on your keyboard to get the hand, and you can just drag away. Press V again to select these. So, you know, you want to take this. Oh, no, I expect to run again. Take that whole thing, just drag it right out of view, like that, and then go back another three keyframes, and then just grab this and pull it out of view as well. So, when you have this, it calls in like that, right? you know? So, that's the first thing. Like it just crawls in and then it goes boop and then it goes boop, boop bang and then you have that so that's what you want um then you want to do that with every single letter so with the letters i'm just going to do this and then i'll be right back with you So I did that, so now it looks like this. So I went a little bit through the keyframes. It looks a little bit wonky, but that's okay. Some letters are really hard to like do, to like get perfect. So you just try to make it like, look look stretchy. Like you make it to look stretchy. So this is fine, this looks good. It, lo it looks nice, it looks really good because like the X is so hard to stretch with the diverse shifts and stuff like that. So anyways, so you have this, you have these outlines that come in and that's not the whole thing because what you now want to do is you want to actually take this and you want to press Control, Shift, and Z. And then you want to name this. Um, name. Sure. You want to open this. And in here is going to be the outlines. And then this is going to pop in, right? Where is it? There it is. So, boom. No, it's not in the screen. Okay, we're fine. So, um, so I have name. It just pops in like that. It's really pretty. And then what you want to do is you want to... Take it. You want to take this layer, and you want to say, duplicate it, and then you want to name this one uh, fill. So, what you're gonna do is you're gonna go in here, you're gonna search for fill, and then you're gonna click on all of these, and then it's gonna fill first with the outlines, and then oh yeah, uh, last thing you want to do is you want to actually get this one, see where the keyframes are. You want to put outlines at the bottom. Yeah, yeah. I want the fill to come in like two or three frames a day. So let's say three. So now, if you see this, you see how it like has the outline first and then the white comes in and then maybe you can put it a little bit further. Like that. And then it already looks really nice. And that's the first thing. And then you have this one and you can control D this. You can move this down a little bit further. So it pops in even further. And then it has a nice little glitchy effect. So next thing you want to do is you want to um, put a fill on this so you can just um, have effects up presets and you drag it on. I just have a key. I just have a, um, whatchamacallit, uh, plugin. So if you want that plugin that you control, that you press control space to get like the effects and controls like this thingy, um, I'll put that in the link in the description. It's totally free. So it's totally cool. Uh, so we're going to put a fill on this and we're going to say we wanted a, um, actually no, we can put a gradient on this one. So let's put a gradient ramp on this. He wanted green. So let's going to say, we'll say, um, let's go to the place where it pops in right here. Perfect. And we're going to say the first point we're going to put here. Second point we're going to put here. You can just click that as we move them. And then we're going to say nice little pastel green, I think, like that. Pretty. And then for that, we're going to take a little bit yellower. Maybe, maybe a little bit orange, reddish. I think that's really nice. That's really pretty. And then it pops in. Oh, that's a little bit down. 
gonna have to fix that, but that's okay. Um, yeah, no, that's totally fine. It's not gonna, it's not gonna show up here anyways. Yeah, it's not gonna show up here anyways. It's totally fine. So, uh, yeah, so that's I actually almost already it. It's really simple to do. So this one you want to have like one, two, three, four, five frames. Then you have this one, two, three, four, five, six frames. So it comes a little bit later in. So you have the little white that pops in first and then the color comes right over top. And then it has a really, I just really like the effect. It's just really glitchy, really nice, looks pretty. And um, yeah, so that's really good. And then for me, I thought I, did, I thought this would look good, but I thought I could do even better, which we always can. You can always do better. Don't ever doubt yourself, people. Um, so this looks good. And then what you wanna, next thing you wanna do um, is you actually wanna go to Google. So what you wanna do is you wanna go here and you wanna go Saber. And then you have uh, Saber plugin after effects download free because this thing is completely free like it's completely 100 free so you just download this you install this um it's just an installer it's really simple to do if you need help with that just look up a tutorial here you can i think this even shows it and what you next you want to do is you want to uh, you want to get your logo of your choice so this guy wanted a um whatchamacallit a um danny phantom logo so i'm just quickly going to make that a png and then i'll be right back all right, so now I have this nice little thingy and it pops in and then we have this and now I'm going to explain how I did this and it's actually really simple. I'm um, creating that outline in the thing and then just adding some effects. I'm going to show you exactly how I did it. So first thing first, I made um, uh, the thing, the PNG. I put the PNG in here and then I went over it with a stroke. So like you can just add stroke to it and then automatically will pop to this. So that's all good. Um, and then you want to put saber on it. And then really thing you have to do to get this to animate, I'm going to show you real quick how to do it. Um, so you have this key from here, kiss key from here. You might want to make sure that end size and start size are 50%. So you get this nice little glow, glow effect. And then what you want to do is you want to put end offset here at hundred and this one at a hundred. Then you want to put a keyframe. You want to, here, I'm just going to do it again. That's it. So I want to put a keyframe here and offset this one. Make sure this one is at 100. It will be like this. So you want to brag this, <coughs> this way. Excuse me. And you go a little bit forward to like, like when it just ends and then a little bit further. So like there, you want to drag this back. So like pops in. So have this and it just goes in like that. And that looks nice, but it's linear and that's not pretty. So what you want to do, sorry for the fireworks. I want to select these both these keyframes, press F9 on your keyboard. I'm gonna go up here and then you have this graph editor. And now if you're on this, that's also totally fine. You can just pull this one and then pull this one. That's also totally fine. But I usually do it in the speed graph. So you can right click and then you see this. So you can drag this in and drag this a little bit in. You don't wanna go too far. You don't wanna go too fast. So it just gets a little bit more. It's, it goes slow and then it goes faster in the middle and it goes slow in the middle again. What you can also do, it's a different way to do it can drag this one a little bit up and like this one also with that up then it goes fast then it goes slow and then it goes in but in my opinion the other one looks better so we're gonna stick with that and so we're gonna stick with that so yeah so that's all you basically have to do that's the whole thing and I'm gonna I forgot to show one thing actually let me just quickly redo this Yep, that looks really nice. Good, cool. Okay, and then you can give a color. By the way, you can change the selections here. You can change the color um, to whatever you like. It really doesn't matter much. That's not really anything. Just you can just keep the default. Uh, yeah. So, um, next thing you want to do, the last thing you actually want to do, is you want to make sure that this disappears. So, what you want to do is you want to press T on your keyboard. You want to yeah, this this little thing you hear that pops in the, like the Fraxis thing. Um, you want to make sure that this one pops in with it because you see the editor just goes up and down. So what you want to do is you want to select the name, press P on your keyboard. You want to make a keyframe, go a little bit forward to when it goes up. So you want to drag this a little bit up, not as up as that one. And then when it goes down, you want to drag it down. So like that, so it goes the same. 
Now I'm gonna change this uh, to his fingers a little bit because I think it looks bad. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to alt scroll by the way. You guys know that I saw that already. Select this one and make it a little bit like this, I think. No. I have a better idea. I have a way better idea. What I do is delete the middle one. So let's have this one going down. And then here's gonna be the trick. What I do is you wanna go here, and this time you do wanna get the value graph. I lost keyframe. Take these two keyframes. Bang. Hello? Oh, there it is. Yeah, exactly. So you have that. This is not what we want. We want this one. You can just take this out like that and it just pops out. That's fine. It's totally fine. Uh, that's going to be at the end of the animation, anyways. So uh, it's totally fine. Save that. I got it. That's all you gotta do. That's it's really simple. And then the one thing here that I forgot to say is once you have all these keyframes in there, like I explained how I did that. But once you have all those keyframes in there, what you want to do is you want to select. You want to uh, select all of them. And you want to right click, and then you want to press toggle hold keyframe, and then it like makes a snappy thing. So like it snaps in instead of like just comes in, it just snaps in like that. So yeah. And that's, um, that's how you want to do. That's how you have to do. Um, and then you can, oh yeah. And I'm going to tell you the render settings I use because it's always good to have, uh, so you go composition, adds Adobe, maybe a render queue, encoder queue. I have a link. I don't know if I have.